Hi everyone, this is Holly. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you find something useful or helpful here. This video shows how I created a eucalyptus mint soap with a drop swirl, followed by a few passes with a hanger swirl tool. You'll find all the links and information listed below, along with links to videos and articles on basic soap making and lye safety. For the swirl colors, I wanted to use blue and green since they're both associated with eucalyptus and peppermint. So I went with French green clay and indigo root powder. Just for ease of blending later, I hydrated the green clay with a little distilled water. I mixed the indigo root powder with sunflower oil and allowed it to sit for a while so the powder settled to the bottom. I wanted the rest of the soap to be as light as possible, so I used really light colored oils in a recipe that usually produces a very light colored soap. I blended the soap until I was sure it had reached an emulsion. As you can see from the blender shaft here, it was smooth with no oil separation. For a drop swirl, I typically use 25% of the soap batter for the swirl colors. This batch was about 8 cups of soap, so I poured off 2 cups total, one for each color. For the blue soap, I added some indigo root oil until I was satisfied with the blue color. My indigo colored raw soap usually looks quite gray until it goes through saponification, and then it turns a pretty steel blue color. To create the green soap, I added some green clay and then a few drops of indigo root oil to help create a prettier green. As you can probably tell, the green clay that I hydrated earlier was quite thick. But I decided to just blend it in like this because I didn't want to add any more water and risk glycerin rivers in the final soap. I could have added it dry as well, but I find even this little bit of water helps the clay incorporate into the soap quicker with less specs. Before I show the pour, I thought I'd mention a few things that might be helpful. I start by pouring a layer of soap in the bottom of the mold, about one third of the base soap, pouring on a spoon to help reduce air bubbles. You could always just tilt the mold and pour down the side with similar benefit. I then alternate between the blue, green, and white soaps, varying the height at which I pour to make sure that some breaks through the other colors below. Then I ran a hanger tool through the entire batch circling one way a few times, then back the other way once.
was worried my flat lid would mess up the soap top, so I used some bent cardboard pieces to form a cover for the mold. I then oven processed the soap as I normally do. I preheated the oven to its lowest temperature, then turned it off and placed the soap inside. I left the oven light on for about four hours and then cut that off as well. I removed the soap the next morning and left it on the counter until the next day, when I was able to unmold and cut it. 